Good morning! Today I'm going to show you how to use a fairly underutilized feature of Artist Year that even I don't use very often, which is the slideshows feature. Uh, now even though it is underused, it's quite powerful, and it's actually not that hard to use either. So I'm going to pull up the ever-popular Template 2 to show you how to do this. So I'm in my template right now, and you see that when I click into the content area, we see these slide things, but I can't actually use them yet. Same with the header. If I click into the header area, we see that these slide things are here, uh, but they're grayed out and I can't use them. The reason is that you have to actually start adding images before Artistry will let you use the slideshow, which seems weird because the slideshow doesn't actually use the images that you add, so it's just kind of a weird feature. Uh, so if I want to insert my slideshow after this heading, so if I say slideshow, I'm going to insert an image. And I designed these three slides for today. Let me, uh, let me show you what they are real quick. Oops. So I have this slide, this slide, and this slide. These are what I'm going to be using in my slideshow. So back here in Artist Year, I'm going to insert slide one as an image. And now that I've inserted it, you see that I can do this new slide thing. So I click the image, then I'm going to do new slide from file, then I'm going to browse to my second slide and click OK. Then I'm going to click that second slide, go new slide from file, and grab the third one. So now if I were to use Artist Year's preview and browser functionality, I'd be able to see what this actually looks like. So for me that's control, well I'll just show you where to go. So if you go file, preview and browser, and I like using Google Chrome, it's my favorite web browser we see that this is what our slider is actually like on a live site. I'm not sure if it auto slides, it does auto slide, cool. So it's using a fading transition and uh, it's got a, in my opinion, slow transition speed for how little text I have in it. So if I go back in, what's kind of cool is that I can edit a lot of it. Sorry for Bella over there, shaken. Uh, but yeah, I can edit a lot of it. I can have a background for the whole slideshow. Um, and I think that this one is for the actual slide itself. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, sorry. So this background is not for the whole slideshow. You can tell I use slideshows all the time, right? Um, and, you know, all sorts of cool artist year features that we have come to love. And all of these uh, filters are kind of cool if you want, you know, different effects to it. I'm going to leave all these blank because I designed the images the way that I want them. But what's kind of nice is that with shapes, I believe you can have text in them. Let's see. Yeah. So we can have text inside the shape. So if you wanted to have part of it as an image and part of it as actually selectable text, that would be very good for readability and search engine purposes. And you can also adjust the motion of it. So if I want them to slide horizontally, instead of fading, I can change that. And the one thing I'm not sure if we can change is like the animation speed and stuff. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't believe there's a way to change the animation speed. However, uh, you can customize this navigator as it's called down here with the little dots, which is kind of cool. Um, you can change the shape of the bullets so if we wanted to make them really small, we could choose 5x5. Five five. I could even get rid of the background in this navigator so it just shows the dots. And I'm pretty sure you can just get, a, get rid of the navigator as a whole too. You might have to just make them in like 100% transparent. But you should still be able to get rid of it. What you'd have to do if you wanted to get rid of the bullets fully is you'd have to go into the active state, the passive state, and the hovered state and actually make them transparent, I believe. So if I go uh, to the passive and then I go to the transparency and change it to 100, you said those are all gone, but they'll still, there's still a hovered state, so I would also want to go to bullets, hovered, transparency, 100%. I think that would be the best way to do it. So now if I preview it in the browser, I will presumably only see the slides and no bullets, even if I hover. Cool. So you see that my mouse does become a pointer if I wanted to. 
but people are of course not going to think to hover around here looking for buttons and it's actually not really that big of a deal anyway. The downside though of the artist year slideshow is that I don't think there's really any way to add like a back and next arrow which I personally really like having in my slideshows and that's why I like using WordPress slider plugins rather than the artist year slideshow. And in terms of slider plugins, um, Nevo slider is great. There's one that I've really come to like, which is called Wow Slider, but I don't know if they have a WordPress plugin and stuff. So um, anyway, there's a quick little overview of how artist your slideshows work. You can also add them to your header and maybe even your footer. I'm not entirely sure, but pretty easy to use. So leave comments, please, if you have any questions or if you enjoyed this. And of course, like the channel, visit artistiertutorial.com. You can learn more about this template as well as about how to use Artistier in general. Thanks.